for, for guys who are trying to install or update their um, their quad a um, X380 with um, using this GUI GUI um, software to manipulate the program this is how you do it um, not saying that previous people that person don't do it right but sometimes you need step by step so you know go to um, first you go to uh, RC group all right and then go to forums forums all right and then uh, you look for uh, aircraft um, aircraft electric rotor multi rotor and rotor tar top multi rotor top okay and then you look for your quad which is um, the X XK380 go to post number 143 okay so okay so this is 143 and um, this person is the one that provide that um, that the, uh, the file attachment so you click on his um, is uh, attachment folder okay start saving it I normally choose where I want to save it so I change it from where it default to where I want to put it so I'll save as and I'm gonna to go to the desktop I'm gonna do a right click new folder and I'm gonna call this X380 Yeah. All right, that's good enough. So I'm gonna choose this folder to download this file. So I'm gonna save it. Okay. First, before you start downloading any other stuff, let's get this thing to work first. Because I realize there's a lot more. You have to install. Um, a USB driver also to communicate with the quad so let's make sure this part work for us this is the part that gives trouble a lot make sure you have um, win win zip and that does um, you know you need you need that you need that to work so you can get the um, the, reg, the actual demo version from the internet you need wins it okay so you click into this bring it up here is the attachment um, extract it here so go into it. extract here extract and see it's saying to buy it and as I know I'm gonna use the equivalent so I use the equivalent and wait until it comes up. So it's gonna take another while before we post it, and there it goes. All right. After it posts this, you have to um, go to the, the attachment. There's another zip file that's in Chinese. You. Um, you uh, you expand that too, okay? So extract here, meaning in the folder, nowhere else in the computer, and you choose choose use equivalent, and um, you should see it. Okay, there you go. So when you click on this first. And you click on the flight control GUI, you press run, it's gonna give you an error. And this is what a lot of people see. Yeah, this error that comes up, you'll, soon, you'll see it in a minute. There you go. 
arrow and unable to start. The reason for this is because is because this folder is in Chinese. So all you have to do is change this folder to anything. Anything you want to change it to. Change it to work. Um, L E T let's work. So it doesn't matter. So let's work. That's what I call it. You can call it anything you want to call it. But once you change this folder, and then you click on this again, and press run, see, now it works. It's going to be in Chinese or whatever character that is, so I don't know how to change it to, to English. And there you go. All the information there. You can play with it at your own risk. Um, another thing to make sure you you read your quad first before writing to it because um, this is a default um, setup and you some people have a problem that they, their TX their transmitter won't connect because the default um, where it is the default um, protocol for your quad is um, PWM and sometimes it defaults to PPM or if you don't select this it's going to be a problem so you know that's just a, you know a, a friendly reminder okay so the second verse you get this GUI part working now so now you get in a display and you can see it the next download would be the drivers for the um, the USB port Okay, the second pro second part of this now. I'll take it that part working. Um, this fellow here, C V Duck here, um, he did a good job, you know, doing some research, and he came up with this website that have the drivers for the quad. So you click on that website, you have to sign up for for you to get um, to get this um, this folder. So this is a folder right here. You go down to download, and some of you, when you click on this, it might ask you to sign up. But for me, I already signed up, and um, it's going to download. Once again, I go to um, to save as and choose a quad folder. So that's my quad folder. That's on my desktop. Uh, the same place where I download the first um, attachment, so I say yes, I want to save it there. There it is. It's, all, it's saved in there. And you um, just, you just verify that it's there. Um, what I do next is close this and bring back up this um, this folder again. Because I'm working, I'm doing every download in this folder. So now I'm going to exp um, I'm going to unzip this folder. So this remember now, this is for the driver. So extract here. That's mean in this folder. Use the. Sorry, I keep, I keep calling it equivalent, but I call it equivalent. There it is. So you click, you click on setup, and it's and this is just to run a driver for your USB port. So you click run, it's installing the, the drivers, and it says welcome drivers. If, if port is finished, and install. I'm gonna pause this for now until it's finished. And this other message come up here. Every different windows have different um, functions, so I say yes. And it's doing its thing. It's complete. Alright, so now it's ready. Okay, the next thing is you have to know which uh, version of Windows you're running. So you don't know if this is a, a Windows 7, Windows 8. 
on the um, the actual bit. You know, 32 bits are, are 64 bits. So you go here, you go to um, uh, control panel, you go to system. That's if you have a Windows 7. The same thing. A system, and it tell you here. So this is a uh, Windows 7, and it's running uh, 32 bit. So. The reason why you need to know this because the driver is still sitting in your folder but it doesn't know which your computer is so, or sometimes it default there it probably work but if it don't work then you this is a step to fix it okay so I go to my computer go to my hard drive C go to program file and go to um, I'm gonna open this up more. Okay, scroll down to uh, this is it. ST Micro Electronic. And then go to software and virtual um, comport um, comport driver. So you, I'm using Windows 7, so I'm going to click Windows 7, and this is the, this is where um, you're going to choose. So this is for 64-bit machine. So you, you saw that mine's a 32-bit. So I click on 32-bit. Then I say um, yes, and. Welcome to your drive installation. Say so yes. Next. And there you go. Ready to use. That's it. So that should make you communicate with your quadcopter. Um, so once you did that, once you do that, then you go, you close your, um, your folder out. Go back to your your working folder look for let's work that's why you name it go to flight config and this is how you start it once it runs you go to language English and then you to when you connect your quad you put the power in there you plug your power up plug your, your data cable in you press open so it's unable to open port because I don't have anything connected to it right now but once you connect your quad to it and you plug this in it should show you should start blinking here and then when to move it your um, your your transmitter stick it should um, respond should show it here but be careful when you move around in this thing this thing can create more problem than you need okay thanks for watching